What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Shots by Pat. Thank you so much for watching this video, clicking the, you know, the thumbnail and clicking this video. Um, for those that are new to the channel, I am a full-time 11 year or 12 year professional photographer specialized in weddings, model photo shoots, portrait photography, all type of stuff. The videos as well. But recently I've dabbled into being a full-time content creator. Now I am not new to content creation. I have my own podcast called Nights at the Round Table. It is a strictly sports podcast in which myself and others sit around a round table and discuss sports topics from past, present, future, current, you know, whatever, but it's not about that. But since the pandemic of 2020 and 2021 and still ongoing, I've watched YouTube a lot and I've focused on key elements of YouTube in, in far as building what I'm trying to do now. I've locked in on maybe five to 10 content creators in all aspects of content creation in order to build what I'm building now and in order to start this journey that I'm on right now as well. So in this episode, I'm going to show five or talk about five content creators that have influenced my tech, film photography, street photography, and overall YouTube experience. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first person is Jay Rome's Tech, also known as Johnny Rome's. He is a photographer and a content creator out of Utah, if I'm not mistaken. Now listen, when it comes to Johnny Rome's and his desk setups and just the way he does his reels, that's literally what caught me by surprise. Like I was not expecting to see any of this. I first saw his page on a desk setup page, so clicked this page, and I was just overwhelmed with all of the content that he puts out. He does a lot of landscape photography and other type of photography as well. But what really draws me to him is the way he set up his desk. He's also a sneaker enthusiast just like myself, and it's amazing to see how well he does what he does. It's great. But with that being said, let's go on to the next person. When it comes to my film photography, yes, I am a film photographer. I look at this guy named 50 Shades of Jason, which is his name on Instagram. But on YouTube, it's Grainy Days. The way he travels to certain locations, the music that he uses for his YouTube videos, just his overall quirkiness of how he shoots his, his videos and his photography is mind blowing. It's amazing to see that film is not dead. Now there's a bunch of film photographers out there. For him personally, just drives me insane with the way he does his things with the with film it's an enjoyable thing to see and i love watching how he puts his, his stuff together it's amazing once again that's 50 shades of jason and on youtube it is green days third on the list is evan ramp an atlanta-based photographer he's great not only does he show video of what he does with digital photography he does a lot of povs but he also gives you an insight into his life and what he does and how he does certain things to make the money that he's made when it comes to him being a full-time content creation. He gives you how he failed, he how he succeeds, his do's and his don'ts. There's so many things he does that's just amazing. It's remarkable to watch how he goes from A to B to Z. He takes us on a ride when he goes through his shots on set, his clientele, and things of that nature. So make sure you gotta look into Evan Raft and see how he does his multimedia. Next on the list is from my regular street photography when I'm using my regular digital camera, it's Faisal Westcott. Now I may have pronounced his name incorrectly, my, my bad, no disrespect. Faisal Westcott is amazing when it comes to his digital photography, what he carries, what he brings with him on every, every shoot. It's, he gives a full video breakdown of how he does it. So make sure you go to his YouTube page so you can see his POV videos of how he walks around the city and takes pictures. The other and the biggest influence in my life when it comes to content creation is Andy To. Andy is a Bay Area photographer that recently moved over to New York City. 
being that he when he moved out here, he took his when he moved out here, his journey continued and he showed us how he's gone sober for 90 plus days. The cameras he uses. His Instagram page is amazing because he uses old cameras and new cameras and do a side by side and comparison on, let's just say a Razer flip phone from 2005 and the iPhone Pro Max of 2022. He also does with iPhone and Canon cameras. He shows his gimbals. It's just an amazing way that he does what he does and it's just pure, it's art in its purest form when you're watching Andy Toe. So make sure you go to Andy Toe's page. Now the bonus that I have is Think Media. Omar al Nolan Nolan and the entire Think Media crew. Think Media is a group of people that put together great videos of how to maximize your content creation, maximize your influence, what you can do to build your influence, and things of that nature. Much like Evan Rand, from which he shows how he built his following from start to finish, Think Media, they give you all of the tools. They tell you what camera to use. They tell you what mic to use. They've heavily influenced my channel because I've used a lot of their input and their advice. I'm shooting this right now on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I use some of the tools that they gave in order to do so. I purchased a Rode Pod mic, I purchased a Rode Video mic. I've done certain things based on what I've seen them do and it pretty much shaped how I've started this YouTube page and how I hope to continue with this YouTube page. It's never a night that I don't turn on YouTube that I don't watch any of those five individuals or the group of Think Media in order for me to gain more knowledge as far as this YouTube journey is concerned and just filmmaking in general. Now, there's a whole bunch of people that I could have mentioned. I could have mentioned, again, Jay Hogg. I could have mentioned Hugo. I'm probably mispronounced mispronounce his name wrong. Daniel Fitcher. Like, there's so many people that I watch for different aspects and they all tie into who I am and what I want to do going forward as a content creator. But the five of these people that I just mentioned, along with the Think Media crew, have been the biggest influences in what I do with my life as far as content creation and where I plan on going with this whole thing. And I just hope that after watching this video, you get a little bit of insight of who I am as a person, as far as my content creation and me personally as well as maybe learning something new of someone else that you can now follow. Use this as the thumbnail or the, the gateway to other YouTubers to maybe do exactly what it is that you want to do. One thing I've learned is never let anything stop you. Everything is a hurdle, but you can always jump over a hurdle. Nothing is too far out of reach. So with that being said, please stay tuned to my next video because the next video will probably be a day in a life of me on the weekend because during the week i'm nine to five and then when i get in i'm chilling with my daughter i'm editing pictures or videos or recording a podcast episode in which i gotta record a podcast episode later on but yeah so the weekend will probably be a more in depth of a day in life from when i wake up to what i will be doing in the house before i step outside and things of that nature and as always don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment and also shots by pat's film is where I showcase my film photography, tech, and also YouTube videos and short videos. This is your boy Shots by Pat, aka Shots by Pat Film. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.